Keith Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how you can create animated clouds in Sony Vegas. And um, this exact same effect can be applied to like a rain. I made a tutorial on that. It can be used in lava. Um, I'm just going a little more in depth into media generators in Sony Vegas. So what I've done is I've gotten a picture of mountains uh, because I'm going to be changing the sky to an animated cloud. Uh, I'm going to be masking an animated uh, clouds over this sky up here. So let me quickly just make this bigger. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our media, media generators tab, go down to noise texture, and you can choose from soft clouds or puffy clouds. Uh, I'm going to go with soft clouds. They look a little more realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drag this down into my videos tab here, and hopefully it works. There we go. And when you drag it down, the settings for it will show up, but uh, we'll go ahead and close that for now. So what we want to do is I'm going to shorten the uh, clouds to the length of the picture we have here and what we want to do is we want to create a mask around the sky of our picture so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the event pan slash drop and what we're going to do is we're going to check the mask button go back to the front grab our anchor creation tool and get a general mask around here um, I'm going to go roughly and then apply a feather to make it ooh that was bad to make it look a little better but uh, obviously, if you want to make it look good, then um, you should take your time, even though it doesn't look too good. But uh, we can we can do it. So you get the general idea here. I'm just gonna mask this out, and then really big there. So. We have, uh, ooh, <laughs> we have selected the sky part of the um, image here. So what we want to go ahead and do is we want to change the mode to negative. And uh, we can already see that the clouds are um, put onto the background. And what we can go ahead and do to make it look a little better is throw in some feather. Um, eh, let's go with eight. All right, that looks decent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move that like that. Kind of looks like the mountains are glowing, but um, that's pretty good. I like that, and uh, we can go ahead and close that out. But if we play, we just have this still image of the clouds. So to animate it, um, all we have to do is go back to our clouds layer, click on the um, generate media for the options. And click this little button down here that says animate, and it brings up a timeline. So essentially, what we're going to be changing is the progress in degrees. So it it means just you know how much the clouds move. So I'm going to add a keyframe at the start, go all the way to the end of it, like right there, I guess. Add another keyframe, and what we want to do is we want to click on our last keyframe and change the progress in degrees to, I'm going to just change the 10 to show you um, what happens. If we go ahead and play it now, um, the clouds are kind of spazzing out and um, obviously you can uh, change the color of the clouds by uh, going back, maybe using this uh, eyedropper tool and picking like bluish kind of color there or um, let's delete that. And uh, you can change, you know, uh, how big you want the clouds, what type of clouds, um, stuff like that. And obviously, if you don't want such a crazy um, amount of cloud uh, time lapse, we can change it to maybe like two. Let's try two. So if we look at that, the clouds are a bit slower, and it's laggy on my computer. When you render it out, it looks pretty good. So, um, experiment with that. Uh, so this is a lot of things you can do. If you want to do this with lava, then you would do the same thing on the bottom. But use this uh, media generator over here called lava or plasma. And um, 
stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, please check out our other videos for stuff like this and programming and animation and all kinds of stuff. Be sure to check so out the Techies for website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something else.